Hi everybody, my name is Anya. Welcome back to All Things Cute. And today I have a very special guest with me. Ta-da! The little Dory. And this one I got in a Happy Meal when Finding Nemo came out. And I'm not kidding, in every single McDonald's, no matter where I would go, I would always get a Dory, so I kept this one. So to celebrate the new movie, Finding Dory, today we will be doing some Dory Chibi Cupcake Toppers, yay! Are you ready to get started? All right, let's get started. Now before we get started making our little Dory, I just quickly wanted to show you how I drew Dory. I love kawaii style, chibi style, so I tried to make it my personal touch. So this is what I came up with, with little Dory. She's like a chibi-ish kind of style. So I'm going to show you the technique that I used to trace this drawing on fondant, and that's what we're going to do right now. Now let's make our chibi Dory. Here I have the template, I made it a little smaller obviously. And remember to pre-roll your fondant so it won't be sticky. Now take your template and you're gonna take your dressing tool, this pointy side, and we're literally gonna trace the entire drawing on the blue fondant. So let's go. <clears throat> now let's remove our template. And you can see the little outline right there. Now the reason that I do this is that so you know exactly where the place, for instance, the yellow fin and the, where to put her eyes, you'll know exactly where putting, you know, like connect the dots by putting a puzzle piece together. This is how I do it. So now you're gonna take the same template and you're gonna trace the yellow parts, which are the little fins, the tail fin and the little fins. So let's do it. And here they are. Now let's cut off the excess first from the blue fondant. This you really do need a sharp knife for this. So let's cut it all off. And be very careful. You don't want to tear your little image apart. And carefully take it off. Don't worry, right now you can fix all of these little bumpy areas that can be fixed. I'm gonna cut this part off there. This is why I love to use my modeling tool, this little tool right here. Doo -doo. You just clean out the edges. It's very important to clean out the edges. Now let's cut the yellow parts. The tail fin. And the other fins. Clean out the edges. Take a little bit of water. Let's place this one first. Now you want to like pinch it a bit, kind of stretch it to overlap the blue parts. And if you see a blue spot like you, I, you do right here, just take your knife and just cut. Ha ha ha. And just fix it with your modeling tool right here. Now let's paste the other parts. And there you go. Now, just so you won't get confused, you can barely see the tracing parts. That's where you get have this little tool right here. So let's just retrace this where the eye goes, this little her little nose. Now let's make her eyes. So you're gonna take a tiny ball of white and you're gonna add water where you trace her eyes. Place them right there. And with the modeling tool, you can shape it to the proper size. There you go, now the other one. We're gonna let that dry before you paint on the ice. Now we're gonna make all the details of little Dory. 
first with this little modeling tool it's like a very pointy angle we're gonna like score the fin lines now we're gonna draw the outline of the entire dory and you're gonna use your edible black food marker Here on her fin, add a little line. Now let's paint the black part of her body. You just have to be careful because she's very tiny, so be careful not to break her. Okay, now let's finish off her eyes. She has little freckles on her nose, just so just with a little pointy tool. Just go beep, 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 beep. And lastly, we're just gonna add the little highlights on her eyes. Just take little dots of white. There you go, there's one. Ta -da. And there she is, we're all done. Now let's assemble her. Now let's make the, the ocean scene, the background. Here what I have is a circle cutter, but it's a double-sided circle cutter. And here it's a fluted ruffle flower shape. I don't know how to say it, but we're gonna use this part. And use the size depending on the size of your cupcake. So here I have this purple. We're just gonna extend it. You don't want it too thin because right now we're gonna ruffle the edges in just a bit. Use it and make sure that you really are pressing down really well. Take off the excess slowly, kind of wiggle it, and then there. When you pick it up, pick it up gently because you don't want to tear the ruffle edges, and you just want to clean up all the edges. We're just pressing on it, making sure that it looks nice and clean and even. We're gonna take this little foam pad, place it right there, and you're gonna take this tool, this little fat side, and you want the point, you know, facing inside this circle. And all you want to do is place it on a little, I'm going to call it pedal, little pedal and go back and forth. And turn it around, back and forth, and we're going to do this on the entire thing. And there you go. Now here I have a smaller one that fits right in here and I just use another size of circle cutter and cut out the blue for the ocean. I'm gonna take some water and I like to use this thing as a brush as you could see. <laughs> and place it right there. Awesome! Now here I have some sand color fondant. I just mixed in brown with a tiny bit of white and a tiny bit of yellow and I created this awesome color. Now we're going to roll into a ball and we're going to make a fat sausage shape and we're going to place it right here on the bottom. Add some water so it's ready to flan it out and place it right there. As you can see right there, you can see a little bit of blue. I'm just going to move it down with my fingers. Make sure you don't see any of the blue. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, it's the ocean. You want it to look organic and natural, so it really doesn't matter. Just place it right there. Now we're gonna add the seaweed. You take your green fondant, and I'm gonna add a little bit of shortening because it's drying a little bit on me. Just really massage it in. Make sure that there are no cracks, and now let's roll it up. And we're gonna cut little triangles. In the little zigzag motions. Up and down. There. I'm just gonna cut this part off. Again, add water on your side, two edges. 
you're gonna take your seaweed and all you want to do is literally twist the fondant as you can see give me a little curl Ta -da! I'm gonna place it right there now let's make more now you're gonna place your dory but be very gentle be very careful now we're gonna add water in the middle make sure you do have plenty of water in the middle and also a little bit on the seaweed so she could really stick there and then carefully and i mean really carefully place a little dory right there in the middle Ta -da! now for a little detail we're gonna make some corals and this is very simple you're literally going to take three, whoops, <laughs> three little balls. One, two, three. I don't want to put it right there. You can place it however you want. I'm going to put it one, two, and three. Make sure they're, they're really in, like really staying in place. When you do with this part of the tool, you're just going to go. Boom. And there's your coral. And lastly, we're just going to add a few little bubbles right here. Just a little cute touch. Add some water. A tiny little white. One bubble. Two. And three. And we are all done. This is so awesome. <laughs> Before we frost our cupcake, you want to make sure that you set your topper at least overnight. But if you want to make multiple toppers, it's best if you do it two days in advance, two or three days. Now, here you see a little dome. We're not going to chop off all of it, just a little bit on the top, just for more stability, more security. There we go. And here's our blue buttercream, and I'm using the Wilton Tip 195. We're going to start in the middle and make a swirl. Ta-da! And now carefully get your topper and place it right there. And we did it! Yay! Our little Dory topper. And we are all done. Isn't this cupcake topper super awesome? You can personalize it however you want. Any more coral or more seaweed. Everybody's gonna really love this cupcake. If you have any more ideas for future projects, leave them in the comment below. I can't wait to see what kawaii projects we can come up with next. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you next time. And don't forget, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. <laughs>